Hello everybody, welcome to Besiege. This is a physics-based building game in which you construct medieval siege engines and lay waste to immense fortresses and peaceful hamlets. This game has been out for quite some time. I'm actually upset I didn't cover it uh, earlier. Because <laughs> I actually had a copy of it before it was even on Steam. Uh, so I kind of missed the opportunity, but oh well, we're finally getting around to playing it. It's been requested quite a few times. And I've been wanting another um, sandbox simulation game to kind of fill in the gaps between releases. So we're going to be playing some older games. Starting, of course, with Siege. I haven't played too much of this game. I have maybe like an hour in it. That's mostly just in messing around or some live streaming stuff we've done. So bear with me. <laughs> I doubt my creations are going to be wonderful to start. Uh, but I'm sure they're going to get more and more creative as time goes on. And we're going to try and go with some more creative options instead of just the normal standard ones. If you guys haven't seen this game before, we're going to be going over the very first couple levels. So how to build, you basically start with this little command block. What? Oh, not a command block. It's almost like the uh, center block you start with in Terra Tech. This is what kind of controls everything. And looks like, is it telling us to make it? Yeah, it's telling us to make it. Alright, we'll just do it to appease the game. So we're going to make a very basic little vehicle. Bam, bam. And then it wants us to put little wheels on it. Bam, bam. We can change the directions of all that stuff. Place the ground on the machine with spacebar. And what's... Oh, I used the arrow keys. Okay. And then use arrow keys just to ram into things. And basically, to conquer every zone, you need to do enough destruction. So this meter will kind of fill up over time. There you go. Very basic, but fun. There was this mode. There's a couple other uh, lands that are unlocked. Um... Let's see, and then what else? Oh yeah, and then there was like a sandbox mode. You can also, people have gone crazy with some designs. There's some really cool, th people have made like entire combustible engines. Not combustible, combustion engines. And really interesting stuff. So we may even be a little cheeky, as, as they say, and go download some other people's creations. Just to play with around with them, because they are incredibly fun. I mean, it is a beautiful looking sandbox game. I'm excited to see what we do. So now we gotta destroy this windmill. But oh no, how are we going to get to the windmill? Oh, well I guess we could just crawl up the hill. No, it won't work. I had an RC toy just like this back in the day where it could like drive upside down and stuff. <gasps> Alright, well, th that won, but that was kind of lame, so we're going to redo that. Hmm. Oh, no, delete that. Uh, what is the delete key? That's oh, just destroy machine, start over. Basically, I kind of want to put a... Let's try shooting this one instead of driving into it. So let's just make a nice little base to start. Kind of make it nice and heavy so it's stabilized when we start shooting cannons off of it. Even though we'll probably only need one shot to cause enough destruction. Uh, let's get some of these hinges because these will allow us to turn. They don't work super well. There are ways to get them to work well. I'll show you what I mean in just a second. So uh, when you drive with these, they kind of do. So you can, you can move around. There are better ones, but that'll work just fine for our current purposes. New section. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, we should probably move it down. There we go. Because you can only build in this box, which is kind of limiting. But, oh, well. Uh, is that high enough? It could probably be a little higher. So we'll plop that up there. We're going to grab some weaponry. Uh, in the future, we'll probably spend uh, less time building. Like, I'll probably cut more. But just to start... We'll just keep it nice and basic. Let's get one cannon there. Uh, let's see, how do we rotate? There we go. Oh, here we go. Let's go with three cannons. Okay, what is the key to fire? It is C to ignite. So we're just going to try and line this up. That looks good. And we could even go run up some chickens if we needed to. And you can slow down time, which is pretty cool. So let's go down. That's 30%. Boom! <laughs> so it's kind of flipped over anyway. Well, I feel like we'd be able to get it back up. I, I, I. No. Let's go back to 100% time. Actually, we probably didn't even need to move. Yeah, there we go. Someone conquered. Uh, let's try to add some more weight to it just so it doesn't flip over. Uh, let's go ahead and grab just the basic building blocks. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. I think this should add weight to it. I guess we'll find out. 
There we go. Oh, works a little better. Nope, went the wrong way. There we go. Just had to back up a little bit. Hooray! Let's go run over those chickens. No, other way. Come here, chickens. Chicken chicks. Oh my god. Yeah, chickens and, like, villagers one. They kind of explode in this game. It's pretty great. Okay, Old Howl Battlefield. So this one, you have to avoid those bombs. Which I think we should be able to do, even with our very crude and basic steering apparatus. Come on. Just gotta avoid the bombs. <laughs> and run over the sheep. I'm sorry, sheep. Why are they running towards my wheels? Why do they hate their lives? Can I knock that over? I can. Excellent. No, you're not indestructible, so you will break eventually if you keep running into too much stuff. Oh, good god. Like, we already broke down there a little bit. Oh! Damn it! <laughs> but we made it. <laughs> Count it. And we're just blowing through these zones. Okay. So it looks like we got some archers. They're going to start shooting at us. I don't really think they'll do much. Oh, wow. Okay. They actually destroyed the block. Damn. Let's see. How much can we do? Not much. Wow. That didn't really do much at all. So even if we drive right up. Boom. Just kill a couple of them. Um, let's try and shoot at that. Wow. Okay, let's go ahead and destroy a machine. I'm gonna try and figure out a better steering method. Uh, even though we don't necessarily need to be steering all that uh, complicated right now. It'd be good to just figure out. Okay, so I think I have it basically set up. Uh, all I did was, um, well, let's back up a little bit. There we go. So now we have a little bit more control. All I did was take the front two hinges and just inverted them. So now the wheels are turning in opposite directions. So like I changed the key mapping so the front two, uh, left goes right and right goes left. I think I need to actually make them opposite because they're actually backwards right now. So when I hit left, I turn right. When I hit right, I turn left. But that's good enough for now. <laughs> we can actually let's try that right now. So if I do... Not that. Stop it. Okay, let's go back to that. Back to that. Okay, and this guy. Let's do left, right, right, left. Left, right, right, left. Okay. There we go. Much better. Yeah, we have way more control now. Okay, so that's all you have to do is just invert them. Because otherwise, they just turn the same way. Now we gotta deal with these jerks that keep shooting at us. Mechanical. Yeah, there's a bunch of new parts. Because I probably haven't played this... In quite a while. When I had played the, uh, first played the game, there really wasn't much going on. Weaponry, spike ball, metal blades, circular saw. You know, it would be nice if we get... Ooh, there's actually a bomb in front of here. I feel like hit the bomb, it's going to blow up. But I kind of want to have saws up here that will shoot at, at them. I think that would be really cool. So I'm going to build this up into like a bigger cube. And try and get it nice and lined up so I can saw those guys. So I can seesaw them. No, just regular saw. Whatever that means. <laughs> Alright, so I have it kind of set up how I want to. Um, just hoping. Let's, let's go forward. Nice, nice and in slow motion. Hope I don't hit the bomb. It should be long enough. Let's slow down even more. Should just saw right into those guys. Oh. <laughs> Inching closer. And. <laughs> Sawing the crap out of them. Oh, those guys are somehow surviving. There they go. Okay, now they're hitting it. Oh, but that one broke off. No. Okay, we gotta try and hit that guy. Come on, saw him. Saw him, you bastard. How is he still alive? Okay, he's gonna hit that one. Oh, no. God, they're just now laying in the background. Let's see if we keep pushing forward. Oh, we're breaking apart. Is it? That is one tough guy. Okay. And now... Uh, can I hit the bomb? <laughs> Boom! There we go. <laughs> Not enough destruction, though. Um, I think we actually need to survive because we have to go back and kill that windmill. Because the destruction meter is actually counting for that. So let's try that. Um, actually... Let's see if we can, um, I have an idea. 
We're gonna kind of like make a car bomb. Uh, the cannon. Point there. And we're gonna put quick balls. Where are they? Blocks. They're under weaponry. Bombs. Here we go. <laughs> so we're just gonna try and stuff a bunch of bombs down here. I guess we can only get two. Uh, I should probably build that up to protect it, huh? Because we don't want their arrows hitting it. Because I think their arrows will actually ignite it. Not 100% sure on that, but better safe than sorry. Nope, delete that. There is actually armor you can get. I should check that out. There we go. I should just try that, because maybe it'll make it nice and strong in the back. Or maybe it'll make it nice and heavy, that's what I meant. <laughs> Definitely want to protect that. Ah, uh, it's not helping too much with the weight. Because the front is just so very heavy. Okay, let's go try and take those guys out. So let's go saw them. Oh, we broke part of it off. Oh, what are we doing with our wheels? I forgot to keep an eye on the wheels, because if we overextend them, they will kind of bust. Or if we kind of turn too much with them. Bam. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. It's probably better if we just had a cannon and shot him at these guys. Okay, just two of them left. One of them left. Damn it! <laughs> we hit that thing too. Alright. Well, let's just try and kill some of them and then maybe move on. Okay. Later, guys. We gotta go take out that windmill. <laughs> Look at that guy dancing! <laughs> the saw was just more of like a, of a pr proof of concept or something. Didn't really expect it to work too much. So if we go over here, hit this stuff, and hit C... Should explode. There we go. <laughs> Good enough. Next zone. Oh yeah, these guys. Okay. So if we just let them attack us, they'll come running in. And technically, we can just run a bunch of them over. Actually, I'll probably do that and then press C. So we're pretty well protected right now. It, 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 it would help if the saws were a little lower. Let's run those guys over. Back up. What just exploded over there? Good God. And then, see? Ah, that's pretty close. Let's try that. We'll move the saws lower. We'll just, like, make this like a zombie mobile. Well, I couldn't quite fit all the ones I wanted to, but that kind of works. Oh, what the heck? Why is it exploding immediately? Uh, maybe it's just, like, the drop that's doing it? Okay, there we go. Let them kind of just run into my saw blades. <laughs> Oh, that's good. <laughs> oh no, one of the saws broke. Damn it. That's okay. We'll zero out the other one. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, let's just try and get over to the archers. So let's just go forward. Oh my god. Just blown through them. What, are we stuck on something? Oh, our saw blades broke off. <laughs> Look at it go. And press C. And is that enough to take them all out? Come on. So close. Dang it. No, it wasn't enough. Okay. Well, let's try adding some more things. Like, we have these shrapnel cannons that we can just kind of put out here. We'll just have those kind of face outward. So this will be like our first line of defense. Uh, how do you fire these? Oh, wait. But we don't want it to be... Okay. We don't want it to shoot at the same time as our... um. As our uh, main cannon that ignites the bomb. So let's see if we can remap those. Uh, let's make Q to shoot these. Q. You know, Q. And Q. Okay, we'll just test these first. Come on. There you go. Wow. This actually worked pretty well. 
Oh, those are breaking that off, though. Oh, what if there's a way to reinforce these? Ah, let's just take them off the front. We don't need them on the front. No! So we'll drive forward a little bit. Press Q. Take those guys out. Keep driving forward. No! Oh. Okay, let's just drive forward. Press Q. You gotta turn towards them. Turn towards them. Gotta get to the archers. It's too much. We just keep getting dead bodies kind of jammed up into our front. There we go. Just gotta blow through them. Press Q. And it's back up. And those guys. Press C. Come on. What all are we supposed to destroy? Jeez. I feel like we're just murdering all of them. Come on. Okay. Yeah, it, the things just fall apart so easily. We just gotta blow through these guys. Get to these guys. See if we can turn. Uh, press Q. Why not? Back in, into them. Let's just see how, if we can get them all around us. Oh, I guess it blew up anyway. There we go. <laughs> Hit the next zone. Okay, what zone is this? Oh yeah, this, this one. Alright. Well, leave a like if you guys enjoyed Besiege. Want to see more in the future, and I'll see you next time. Bye.